Hello, welcome back. Let's play Jane's Fighters Anthology as we continue to go through the reference database. Today we have the A37 Dragonfly. Title Cessna Model 318, USA of designation A37 Dragonfly. Type 2C Light Strike Aircraft. The A37 is a development of the T37 trainer, intended for armed counterinsurgency or coin operations from short, unimproved airstrips. Two YAT-37D prototypes were produced initially for evaluation by the U.S. Air Force by modifying existing T-37 airframes. The first of these flew for the first time on 22nd of October 1963, powered by two 2,400-pound or 1,090-kilogram Force General Electric J-85 GE-5 Purple Jets. There are two production versions as follows, the A-37A, First 39 aircraft with D rated 2400 pounds force or 1090 kilogram force engines converted from P 37B trainers under a letter contract received from USAF Systems Command in August 1966. Deliveries began on 2nd of May 1967 and have been completed. In the summer of 1967, a squadron of 25 A 37As arrived in South Vietnam to begin a four month computerized evaluation of their ability to perform six basic missions. Close air support, armed escort for army troop carrying helicopters, combat air patrol for truck convoys, armed reconnaissance, forward air control, and night interdiction. At the end of the test period, the A-37As remained in service with the 604th Air Commando Squadron at Bien Hoa Air Base, and early in 1968, they completed their 10,000 combat sortie in Vietnam. In early 1972, they were being operated by AF, the Air Force Reserve, or AFRES. A-37B Model 318E The A-37B is a production version, design of which began in January 1967. Construction of the prototype started in the following month, and it flew for the first time in September 1967. The A-37B has two General Electric J-85 GE 17A turbojets, which offer more than double the takeoff power available for the T-37, permitting an almost double takeoff weight. A total of 329 have been delivered by the end of 1971. The following details apply to the production A-37B. Landing gear, retractable tricycle type, Cessna oleal pneumatic shock absorber struts on all three units. Hydraulic actuation, main wheels retracting inboard, nose wheel forward, steerable nose wheel. Power Plant 2 General Electric J85 GE 17A turbojet engines, each rated at 2,850 pounds or 1,293 kilograms force. Each tank in each wing, each, or sorry, fuel tank in each wing with capacity of 113 US gallons or 428 liters each. Two non jettisonable tip tanks, each of which carry 95 US gallons or 360 liters. Sump tank and fuselage, aft OD cock. I talked it. Um. Oh, they have a tandem cockpit. Still OD. Um, not sure which <laughs> which side they mean with OD, or maybe it's just a type. Of, I don't know. Aft cockpit capacity: 91 US gallons or 344 liters. Systems. Al Research Air Conditioning System of Expansion Turbine Type, driven by engine bleed air. Hydraulic System, pressure 1,500 pounds per square inch or 105 kilograms per centimeter square. Operates landing gear, main landing gear doors, flaps, thrust at attenuator, nose wheel steering system, speed brake, tall spoiler, inlet screen. Electronics, radio and radar installations include UHF communications, ANARC 109A. FM Communications, FM 622A, CATKIN, ANARN 65, ADF, ARN 83, IFF, AN APX 72, Direction Finder, ANARA 50, and Interphone, AIC 18. Armament and Operational Equipment, GAO 2B A 7.62mm minigun installed in forward fuselage. Each wing has four pylon stations, the two inner ones carrying 870 pounds or 394 kilograms each, the intermediate one 600 pounds or 272 kilograms, and the outer one 500 pounds or 227 kilograms. Falling weapons in varying combinations can be carried on these underwing pylons. 
the Su-20 bomb and rocket pod, Mark 81 or Mark 82 bombs, BLU 32B fire bomb, Su 11A gun pod, CBU 24B or CBU 24A dispenser and bomb, M117 demolition bomb, LAU 3 slash A rocket pod, CBU 12 slash A, CBU 14 slash A, or CBU 22 slash A dispenser and bomb, BLU 1C or 1B fire bomb, LAU 32A or LAU 59A rocket pod, CBU 19A canister cluster, and Su 25A flare launcher. Mentions external, wingspan over tip tanks, 35 feet, 10 inches, or I think they're trying to say 10.5 inches there, or 10.93 meters. Wing aspect ratio 6.2, length overall 29 feet, 3.5 inches, or 8.93 meters, height overall 8 feet, 10.5 inches, or 2.7 meters. Areas, wings, gross, 183.9 square feet, or 17.09 meters squared. Weights and loadings, weight empty, equipped, 6,211 pounds, or 2,817 kilograms. Max takeoff and landing weight, 14,000 pounds, or 6,350 kilograms. Performance, max level speed at 16,000 feet, 4,875 meters, 440 knots, or 507 miles per hour, or 816 kilometers per hour. Stalling speed, wheels and flaps down, 98.5 knots, or 113 miles per hour, or 182 kilometers per hour. Rate of climb at sea level, 6,990 feet, or 2,130 meters per minute. Service ceiling, 41,765 feet, or 12,730 meters. And here we can see it's got a uh, tandem, or not tandem, side-by-side -side seating, that's what I meant earlier. <laughs> I like how these guys just stick up and there's, like, the game doesn't render the glass because this is such a, I don't know, maybe they just ran out of time out of it or something. Here you can see the, the turbines and their intakes, and then I assume somewhere back here we'll see, yep. That's where the exhaust comes out. And these are the tip tanks they're talking about. But yeah, the model is uh, <laughs> a little on the budget side, I think. These guys are kind of tall, too, because this would have to... This would basically be touching the top of the seat at that angle. But who knows what the actual angle is. But we do have a photo album with which might provide additional insight. Uh, we have two photos, black and white. Yeah, I think they're more, they're supposed to be more sunk into the aircraft than what they are in game. And look, they actually come with glass. Yeah, and, and well, you know, there isn't that much clearance there, but here you can see it fully equipped with bombs and rockets and whatnot. So that is going to be today's episode. So with that, Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and stay safe out there and we'll see you then.